In this guide, you will learn the most important traffic lights and what they mean, all in a way to help you remember. Unless you learn about traffic lights in a structured manner, things can get a bit messy. We often get asked if there's an easier way to learn about traffic lights, as it can feel like there are a million different types that you need to know. Red, yellow, green, flashing, and steady. The list goes on and on. Let's dive right in. Let's start with steady traffic signals in the red traffic light. A red light means that you must come to a complete stop and remain stopped until the light turns green. In some states, you are allowed to proceed in certain circumstances. In California, for example, there are two exceptions to this rule unless otherwise signed. If safe, you are allowed to turn right after coming to a complete stop and yielding to traffic and pedestrians. You can also make a left turn after coming to a complete stop, but only if turning from one-way street into another one-way street. You should also always remember to look out for signs prohibiting turns, such as no turn on red sign. Okay, so what about a steady yellow light? A yellow light indicates that the green light is about to end and that you must stop unless unable to safely do so. Treat a yellow light as the beginning of a red light as opposed to the end of a green light. Next, the green traffic light. A green light simply means go. Don't forget to yield to vehicles, cyclists, and pedestrians still in the intersection. Now on to flashing traffic lights. Flashing traffic signals are generally used to warn road users of dangerous intersections. There are only two types of flashing lights, the flashing red light and the flashing yellow light. Let's start with the flashing red light. It's very simple, actually. Treat a red flashing light as a stop sign and apply the right-of-way rules. That's all. Now, what about a flashing yellow light? A flashing yellow light tells you to slow down and prepare to stop. It is used to warn drivers of danger ahead, such as a school crossing. Remember to yield to any vehicles and pedestrians in the intersection. All right, well done. Let's move on to traffic signals with arrows. They are used to help control turning traffic. The first arrow you should know is the red arrow. A red arrow means that you must not turn in the direction of the arrow. Wait for a green signal to appear before you turn. Then we have the yellow arrow. A yellow arrow indicates that you must stop, unless unable to safely do so. For example, if you're still in the intersection. Well, what if you come across a flashing yellow arrow then? A flashing yellow arrow means that you are allowed to turn, but must do so carefully. Oncoming traffic will face a green light and have a right of way and once again make sure to yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. And lastly, the green arrow. A green arrow means go. You can make a protected turn in the direction of the arrow, meaning that oncoming vehicles, cyclists, and pedestrians are stopped by a red light. Yield to anyone still in the intersection. That just about covers everything, but what do you do if you suddenly find yourself facing traffic lights that don't even work? Do you just drive and hope for the best? Not really. There are specific rules for that as well. Treat an out-of-order traffic light as a four-way stop sign. Proceed according to the right-of-way rules, unless otherwise indicated by an officer or another authorized person. Where should you stop at traffic lights? Traffic lights with stop line or crosswalk. Stop just before the stop line or crosswalk. Don't stop too far away from the line as some signals have detectors near the line and won't change to a green light unless a waiting vehicle is detected. Traffic lights without stop line or crosswalk. Stop before entering the intersection. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to study more, press the link in the description.